You know, you did American Sniper. Um, why was this so important to do as your directorial debut? Yeah. No, to me it felt a little bit like the spiritual sequel to Sniper. I got to know Chris real well, and, uh, and I watched him. I met him three months after he got home, and I knew him for a while until his death. And, uh, and it felt to me like he was just making it all the way home, and, uh, and life was taken from him. And so uh, I wanted to be able to tell the rest of that story and to, to tell it in, in the feature length of, a, of an entire film rather than just having it be the end part. Um, I don't think the story is told enough. I think we have a ton of war stories. And then, you know, the war is finished. We don't need to know anymore, guys. We don't want to know what happens when you come home. Right. But uh, many of these guys, the war doesn't end for them. You know, these guys come home and it reverberates around in their head and their heart. and. Uh, you know, it's a lacerating experience, and it's, you know, we met a Vietnam veteran last night who, uh, who was with the 216, or Big Red One, he was yeah. with the Big Red One, mm -hmm. and uh, this guy's war is still going on. Right. You know, he's shaking our hand, and he starts trembling, and, and he starts telling you how it still hangs on to him, and how it grips him, and, uh, you know, that's the story we wanted to tell, something that was real, and something that was hard hitting and, and, and didn't pull any punches. And um, it's an important story for us to, as a society, to understand what these guys go through before we send them off to conflict, you know? Right, right. Because, I mean, you're seeing so much. I, I, I think that probably a lot of people are desensitized from all of the imagery that we see on a regular basis. Um, that when we hear about, you know, things happening on the news or when our families come back, you know, uh, again, with my family member, there was not a lot of dialogue. It was just like you made it back safely. Yep. Um, and I know that for you, Adam, um, you didn't really necessarily want to be a part of putting yourself out there and telling this story. How did you kind of <clears throat> change your mind about that? I guess, you know, when Jason came to me, you know, and, and was like, hey, we're going to make a movie about these books, I was like, oh, okay, so they're going to. They'll adapt a script and they'll go make a movie and I'll watch it and you know that'll be it. But Jason immersed me in the in this life and he brought me in and and Miles and and they were both just just great at opening me up. Mm -hmm. uh, and they came at it with such an understanding and and warmth that uh, they just made me feel comfortable from day day one. And little by little, I just kept opening and opening and opening mo up more and more. And and the results speak for itself. Yeah. Yeah, and Miles, how was it working? I mean, I'm assuming this movie was to make was so emotionally taxing. How did you personally tap into what, what he went through and bring it out on the screen? Well, I, I read, I think introductory-wise, I was, I was reading a lot. I read the books and I read some books on, on PTSD and was kind of, you know, connecting myself to it, making it as personal as possible. And I felt like I was surrounded by a lot of, um, yeah, subject matter experts. I had this guy who was an open book and I could ask him any question. It didn't matter how, how tough it would, would be to revisit it. Adam, you know, felt an obligation to, uh, for this story to be told honestly. I think he knew what, what it could do um, to help people. Jason, I mean, this guy's been embedded in this world for, for a while now. And he's really such a, um, a wonderful person to have direct me uh, with this type of material because the guy is extremely passionate and knowledgeable about it. And military advisors and we just kind of built this uh, really like safe space to just um, to try and get it right. I, I think that was the most important thing and to represent these people honestly, uh, that was the most important and, and uh, yeah. My last question, I just wanted to know from each of you, what do you hope that people will take away from this um, or more community that you want to build around this? Yeah, uh, I'll start that. Uh, we're all in this together. It's a human film. It just happens to be based on soldiers' experiences, but we all experience damaging, traumatic things in our lives. And uh, I want people to start talking, and I want people to love each other, and I want that sense of community again that, that we have in the military that... There's no black and white. We're all green in the Army. Everybody's green. You know, we have differences of opinions. You fight it out, and you move on. You, you carry on, and uh, that's what I want people to take away from this and, and to help each other. If someone's down, you pick them up, and if you're down, you reach out and you ask for help. That's it. Yeah, and we hope this film provides a better understanding for the civilian population of what these guys go through 
so that we can have a new understanding and, and move a little closer to our veterans and, and to our understanding and have, have the courage that the film gave you to reach out and call someone right. that we know that's a vet right. and say, hey, I just saw this movie. It got me thinking about you and like your experience. Tell me, you know, can you tell me else, what else happened? Tell me about your friends over there that you lost. Tell me, uh, yeah. tell me what you loved about it and, and what, what still hurts. Yeah. Miles? Yeah, I, I think this movie personalizes it and, and humanizes it. And like you said, we're getting almost desensitized to it because we've been in this world for 16 years and everything's kind of blasted at us. But that's always, it's shifted and it's focused and it's used as propaganda or it's used for some kind of, you know, political movement or social movement. And uh, I just think we need to, um, I don't know, kind of let that stuff go for a minute and, and understand this is somebody's son, brother, mother, you know, uh, sister, whatever it is. Um, you know, these are these are our 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 people, man. We're all we're all Americans in this thing. So I think this movie will will help that, and I do think we we could use some healing as a as a nation. Yeah. Most definitely. Well, thank you, literally, for your service. Uh, excellent film, and um, yeah, I can't wait till everybody sees it. Thank you. Thank you so